Redfall was in a rough shape when it launched in May of this year. Since then developers released a couple of updates, so today we will find out if they fixed the game. So I'll be looking at this game's graphics, performance and gameplay captured on Xbox Series S. Let's have a look. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Redfall. So this game released uh, day one on Game Pass for Xbox and PC, Xbox Series consoles and PC I should say. So this is current gen console only game and yeah, because of that we were expecting w way more polished game and, and better game overall, but especially from technical perspective that was supposed to be the one of the first proper current gen games and unfortunately developers arcane studios did not deliver so first off um, there was a couple of updates uh, i think there was one big one uh, which released a week or two weeks ago i, I think so yeah, I was kind of curious to see if that actually fixed anything. First off, that patch, that update uh, did not deliver the 60 frames per second update. Now we know that it's coming, uh, developers are still claiming that um, we will get that 60 frames per second patch, but we just don't know when exactly. Now this is me first time playing on Xbox Series S this game. I did play on Xbox Series X and PC before. And um, you know, funny enough, like it's a locked 30 frames per second game. So I guess that's a good thing. So I guess they did improve the performance a little bit. But first off, uh, one thing screams, um, I guess last gen really, uh, actually even 360 gen to be honest with you and that's textures. So if you look at this game like that, right? Like if you just play along and, you know, move along, um, I mean, it looks okay, you would say, right? But then if you come close to any object like this wall, look at these, uh, look at these textures. Um, they are not even last gen textures. They are Xbox 360, um, well, PS3 kind of textures to be honest with you. Look at this boiler, right? I mean, this boiler is not even Xbox 360 quality, right? It's like Xbox, I mean, Xbox, the original Xbox PlayStation 2 kind of level, right? So that's the, I think that's the biggest problem with this game right now. I mean, yeah, 30 frames per second is not great, uh, but I guess it's stable now even on Xbox Series S, because apparently it was losing frames even in 30 frames per second. Um, resolution wise, it looks like it's 1440p because it's pretty sharp uh, in a sense that yeah, there's hardly any shimmering. So you know, I, I know, at least this game looks good on that front resolution wise. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you know, when it comes to the number of objects and everything, I mean, the game looks okay. Uh, when it comes to like, you know, it, you know, this game don't feel empty, if you know what I mean. That's what I'm like. Sometimes they just like, it, it does look a little bit gen generic, but I guess not too generic, right? Once more into the... But um, let's just go outside because, you know, uh, that's where interesting things kind of happen too. By the way, when I played this game on PC, it, uh, yeah, it does look better on PC. And from what I remember, there's no, hardly any difference between Xbox Series S and X. Uh, when it comes to the actual graphics, um, not much of a difference, really. Okay, let's exit the fire station. Uh, by the way, this is pretty much beginning of the game. I played maybe for an hour um, when it first launched. And um, so first off, uh, yeah. It seems the game looks kind of okay, but it has a big, well, there's a couple of issues, like pop in, like, and uh, look at these trees, like, you know, you can see the pop in and LOD transformations all the time. And I don't really mind that, like, you know, f like somewhere f further down the road or something, but like not in front of me, right? So that don't really look that great. 
Um, if you come close, you know, all that stuff looks okay. But again, look at these textures, right? <laughs> like, I mean, guys, like, what the hell are we talking about? Like, this is um, current gen title. Are you sure? Maybe in the title. You know, the, the, the saddest part uh, about it is that this is Arcane Studio game. And they, like, back in the days, like, in the past, they never delivered a crap title. And, and by the way, uh, graphics outside, this game is actually not that bad. Like, when you actually just focus on the gameplay loop and stuff. Uh, it's not great. But it's actually not terrible, if you know what I mean. Like, you know, I've put like maybe an hour, maybe two into this game and, you know, had, had some fun with it. Now, I want to show you something real quick. Look at these trees, right? Um, you know, they fairly detailed, right? I mean, they, I mean, these trees look okay. But then you look at some of the trees uh, down the road and if I get a little bit closer to them, look what happened with the trees. Now, this tree look looks like tree. By the way, this bush just pop, popped in out of nowhere. That's another issue. So now these trees kind of look okay, right? But if I move away from this tree, look, look what happened there. You see, I mean, you see trees. Now you see a flat texture, which looks terrible. I mean, I mean, come on, guys. Like, I have no idea who tested this game, but this is not acceptable. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, it looks like PlayStation 2 game at times. Same with, um, obviously, if you look, you know, down there, uh, over there. Uh, same story. Like, you know, look at some of these textures, like this tree over here, right? It's like, it looks like one big blob, not not like a tree. And this is the biggest problem with this game. Like, you know, <clears throat> you know, like at times it looks okay. And then, and then at times it looks like this, like, you know, look at that tree and it looks like it's just a flat texture. Like it looks like one, right? Um, gameplay wise, uh, I mean, you know, you just have to kill all these vampires and stuff. And yeah, I mean, look at all these, you know, LOD transformations on trees and, you know, popping everywhere. It's just annoying as hell. And, and they dare to call it, um, they dare, dare to call it an action game. It, this game don't even look great even good, even for like large standards. Come on, what the hell are you doing? Start aiming. There we go. There's another one. There we go. Headshot. Um. I mean, the characters, yeah, looks okay. They look okay. Yeah, nothing special. I mean, last generation kind of standard, I would say. Um, now, obviously, there's a lot of looting in this game, which, you know, I'm sure a lot of people will like. Some people will like it, some people won't. <clears throat> so if you ignore the graphics i mean like not completely right i'm not telling you to you know be blind basically but like if you get used to these graphics uh, and stuff right you can have some fun with this right like look, look at these textures again it's just ridiculous um so generally speaking the game is not really that bad um gameplay wise um atmosphere wise i guess the, the thing is that this game is kind of empty the, the town here is kind of empty um yeah there was a little bit of stutter here and so that's not great of course um 
I don't know, like even games like State of Decay 2 looks better and they kind of offer, I guess, more um, action. Oh, that's new. Let's get a good look. Oh, I died. Great. I was right. That's not what I planned, but hey, it is what it is. Okay, so the actual gameplay mechanic is actually not too bad. Um, you know, obviously you have to do a little bit better than I did, but um, um, there's a fun to be had here. If you know what I mean. There we go. You deserve it. Oh, I'll put a lot of it there. Achievement, there you oh. go. It's over there. So, genuinely speaking, um, killing vampires is actually pretty fun. Like, yeah. By the way, like, on PC, this game is actually better. I mean, it looks better, runs better at 60 and stuff. Like, yeah, it's 30. I mean, I guess. I mean, you can get used to it. Um, I'm not really a big fan of 30 frames per second, of course, especially in like FPS shooters. I know it's not like action packed action like shooter like Call of Duty, but still. Um, by the way, look at these artifacts, shadows. Yeah, like just graphics is. I mean, it's actually full of objects and and kind of interesting. It's you know like if you don't if you don't get too close to the objects, like the game looks okay, then you get too closer to the to an object and and it just fall apart. So that's the big problem I see with this game. Fire! Fire! I got burned. There you go. You would return to a senseless world? Yeah, I'll, another thing is the atmosphere. I was expecting more of a more dense uh, atmosphere, if you know what I mean. Um, and I don't necessarily feel like it. Like, there's no. I don't know, like. There's something missing, like, yes, there's... <coughs> you don't... I don't really necessarily feel like I'm... It don't feel like survivor... Uh, survivor kind of horror game, if you know what I mean, right? Where you, like, really... Fight for survivor. So, survival. Where over here is more like... Yeah, hey, let's kill some zombies. Which is, hey, okay, that's fine, right? And, that, and that's the biggest problem with this game, I guess. That's why, you know, this game kind of lost its identity. Um, I mean, I guess it never had its own identity. Because Arcane Games always had these... They, they, they would always make these games that had very kind of dense atmosphere and... Were, yes, were, were special. And this game just feels generic very generic so like I said like there's some fun to be had in this game and like shooting vampires and doing some side missions or whatever right but like there's no kind of a sense of emergency and disaster and yeah I mean that's just my thoughts on it right there we go Oh, I've been there. Hold on. I didn't I come this way? I might have. <laughs> I mean, listen, these trees just crack me, cracks me up. Like, honestly, like, 
God damn, who did quality control in this game? Like, I'm, I, listen, I'm not, I'm, <laughs> I'm speechless. I'm just fucking speechless, speechless. Jesus Christ. Hilarious and sad at the same time. Listen, like, I'm not trying to be too difficult uh, for developers, right? Like, clearly, I've never made a game and, you know, like, but, you know, if you comp like, the thing is, like, maybe developers did put some effort into it and stuff, like, obviously, game got delayed many times and, I mean, th there was many developers that left. But hey, like in comparison, this game just falls flat on its face in comparison to some other games. That's the thing, like, you know, if you... Hey, listen, we could use your help getting some safe houses set up while you're out there. The more places folks have to lay low, the better. It'll also like give us a foothold to take back good. our neighborhoods it's from these cool. monsters and their goddamn cults. My friends already laid the groundwork in a few places, but as you can imagine, they're not really safe yet. If you spot one, just get the power going and give us a shout on the radio. So yeah, you get these side missions and you've got the main mission or whatever, right? So, so guys, that's Redfall pretty much for you. Um, yeah, would I recommend buying this game? Probably not. Maybe for ten dollars, but it's on Game Pass, so we can give it a try. And uh, it's not terrible. It's just not. It's just not great. That's the biggest problem with this game. It's just mediocre. Oh. We've got a vampire here. There we go. Yeah, actually, shooting actually is not too bad. What happened to him? No, I'm not scared. Let me feel. Okay, let me sh let me give these guys and I'll probably finish this video. Shit. Not excited for nothing. You're gonna drop your weapons right now and show yourself. Put it to the jazz hands, nice and easy. Where is he? I, I can hear him, but oh I think I know where he is. Here I come. Oh turret, bloody hell. Hey, I've got a sniper rifle now. So anyway, guys, that's the game. That's Redfall for you. Uh, 1440p, 30 frames per second. Okay gameplay, terrible textures. Uh, I mean, they might have fixed some bugs and stuff and maybe performance a little bit because the, the one thing I can say right now, it's feels like pretty much locked 30 frames per second so i'm not going to say that is that that it's that it offers great performance but it's much better than it was before because uh, at launch this game was not even locked 30 It'll take more than that to make me quit yeah <clears throat> supply crates secured once i'm back at the fire station i'll let them know where it is Okay guys, so that's it. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Thanks for support. Look at these artifacts over there. It's just, yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, that's Redfall for you. So thanks a lot for again. Hope you enjoyed it and um, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Let me just kill these guys first. It will be a pleasure. I'll probably die in a minute. There we go. So yeah. That's me signing off. Take care, guys.